Hey, what's up, Doc? <laughs> you did what to Loki? Doctor Strange with X bending the cucumber match. This movie had a more mystical theme. It's not like the Avengers where it's all like physical. Well, it sounds like an interesting choice, and it is. Because I like the world parallel dimensions and multiverses and what happens if bad guys are going to attack that. You could see also in the trailer, I think a little bit in the trailer, but uh, in the movie there is a scene where Doctor Strange is meeting the Ancient One and she is like, open your eye. <laughs> that was a spectacular scene. What kind of movies did it remind you of? Please leave them in the comments. We'll see if we have the same ideas. Is he traveling physically? Is it something of mind over matter? A new sense? Opening an extra eye? <coughs> Awakening? Well, at this with some psychedelic shizzle with great visuals and techniques, it's, it looked like Inception. It made me question like, what is reality? The real life is this just fantasy? Doctor Strange, you think you know how the world works? What if I told you the reality you know is one of many? This doesn't make any sense. Not everything does. Not everything has to. All this stuff opens up a wider perspective. It reminded me of movies like Inception, Interstellar, and even The Matrix with the red and the blue pill. It's a new sense. Stephen Strange feels a lot like Tony Stark. Strange is a surgeon and Stark is an inventor. So they're both smart, filthy rich, and Hockey as hell. You have permission to say oh cock. <laughs> oh cock. Oh cock. What will happen if they are in the same scene? Oh shit, Infinity War. If he gets his hands on all six stones, Tony. He could destroy life on a scale hitherto undreamt of. Did you seriously just say hitherto undreamt of? Are you seriously leaning on the cauldron of the cosmos? No, no. <laughs> I'm going to allow that. If Thanos needs all six, why don't we just stick this one down the garbage disposal? Mm, no can do. We swore an oath to protect the time stone with our lives. And I swore off dairy, but then Ben and Jerry's named a flavor after me, so... Stark raving hazelnuts. Not bad. A bit chalky. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. And now I have to make an Iron Man reference, because then you know what Dr. Figlio thinks of Tony Stark. Link over there. This movie was an entertaining movie. Uh, sometimes it felt rushed, and it was the transformation of Doctor Strange. He comes Doctor Strange, he's struggling a little bit for uh, conjuring up uh, some magic. But after he gets it, you know, he knows his trick, he's suddenly a full-fledged, uber-skilled wizard. It felt rushed. Uh, this movie had some nice, funny things. Change his cape. It's really nice to have to see him interact with his cape. And they have some funny jokes too. Shambhala? Is that some chant or something? Uh, what's this, my mantra? It's the Wi Fi password. We're not savages. <laughs> well, all in all, the cinematography was beautiful, great visuals. And it is Benedict Cumberbatch that is making this movie. He is Doctor Strange, like Iron Man is Tony Stark, uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Even the ending was quite brilliant because we know the Marvel villains are like, eh, could be better. 
this one time the Marvel villain is played by Matt Mickelson. Yeah, the villain from Casino Royale, man. It's a James Bond villain in this movie. And I like that actor. But again, they did not utilize him good. He's a brilliant actor. Do some more, man. So that was, yeah, too bad. There is some kind of end boss from another dimension. And that ending was, oh, I left. I laughed. I laughed. It, in, it it's brilliant. It involves a time stone and some bargaining. Romamu, I've come to bargain. And also, it the, the end's battle plays in a other dimension, and that's what I like about this movie: the opening up or the the opening up of uh, a more bigger universe or a, or a multiverse so this movie is very clever it sets up Doctor Strange very nice I really want to see more of Doctor Strange uh, you see the powers he can have also in future films like in Thor Ragnarok so I'm very curious to see more of Doctor Strange and of course we will in a sequel and in Avengers Infinity War Overall, it was a, a Benedict Cumberbatch is the movie. Nice visuals, uh, some funny moments, and I, I liked, I liked it for the most part. And it could be better. I want to see more of the villains, and I could see more of the transformation of Doctor Strange. I want to know more of the magic. I want to know more how he conjures up those spells, and you know, learn that shit. Now he is like Earth's greatest wizard. Nonetheless, I like this movie. I give this movie a 7 out of 10 stars. I mean, yeah, Doc. Yeah. No, no. The, 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 the medicinal prescription you can get from the red button over there. Yeah, press it. Red button. Yeah. Peace, my brother from another mother. Stop. The dogs, the, 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 the.